G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. I'm going to be showing you how to get this really cool armor set. It's the UC armor set and it is a legendary set. It is very cool looking and I think it's probably one of the best looking armors in the game, in my opinion. It's got some really unique you know, colors and stuff. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to show you where and how you can get it. It's very easy to miss this armor set. It is in a, in a quest and you could fly by it without even noticing it so i'm going to show you where you can get it let's have a look at the stats on it first though all right so the armor set itself comes in three pieces obviously there's a spacesuit a pack and a helmet this is the uh, the suit it is a beast hunter suit uh, it is in a uc mission where you are coming up against terramorphs so it, the beast hunter perk is i guess there for that reason I'm not a big fan of Perk Hunter, uh, this uh, Beast Hunter, I should say. Uh, the 15% damage against alien enemies. I don't find you come across enough alien enemies in the game. Hopefully they will change this with upcoming patches and uh, mods and stuff. So uh, that would be great if they did. And then you could use this armor uh, a lot more. Uh, it has pretty good. I'm at level 90 plus character. So bear that in mind when I pick this up. Uh, the physical damage is 124 energy 140 and em 132 so it's a pretty good stats there it's thermal is pretty low though so it's zero uh, everything else is not too bad it has the auto medic uh, perk which it automatically uses a med pack uh, when you are below 25 percent health every 60 seconds which is kind of handy if you're in the middle of a battle and you forget to use it uh, I use med packs on a hotbar, so I tend to not forget that often, but it is handy if you do, I guess. And then a Sentinel, 75% chance to reduce damage by 50% while standing still. So I guess if you are standing still and you're using like a heavy weapon like I have here, uh, that would be handy as well. Now for the pack, it comes with the anti-ballistic. So minus 15 incoming physical damage from ranged weapons. It's a liquid cooled, so plus 25 thermal. Uh, which makes up for the thermal on not on the suit, I guess. And then we have the uh, incendiary, which is a 10% chance to ignite nearby attackers, which is pretty good as well. I like that effect when it does go off. Uh, we have the helmet, uh, again, the beast hunter, and we also have uh, analyzer plus 10% damage to a scan target. So it's good to scan your enemy before you uh, attack it, like the, you know, the aliens, uh, terramorphs or whatever. Scan them first, and then you're going to get that bonus 10% damage. Also, we have the incendiary on this, so you're getting 10% on this as well as the pack. So all around, pretty good in my opinion. So anyway, let's get stuck into this and I'll show you how you can get this and where to find it. All right, guys. Well, first things first, if you have not started the UC uh, quest line, you need to come to the Mast District in Jemison and you're going to need to run up these stairs most people probably know where it is but just in case you don't know you're going to run up these stairs and when you come inside this door over to the left here you're going to see this guy and you are going to start the quest line with commander john atala so when you have done that you will work your way through a number of quests i'll show you exactly what we're doing we're on hostile intelligence at the moment that's the quest that we do need uh, but if you go to faction quests you can see i've completed a number of uc quests through here so there are quite a few that you need to get through in order to get to that particular one which is hostile intelligence now it starts off by following hadrian and we're going to jump through all of that and get to the last part of the actual mission so i can show you where the suit is just to speed this up and not ruin this quest line for you there are like i said a number of quests you're going to have to get through in the vanguard uh, section first and then then you'll get that hostile intelligence and that once you've got this started this is going to lead you to the suit all right well i'll meet you at the part where we're collecting the suit and i'll show you where and how to find it all right guys we are at the end of the mission where we're going to get the suit now at the moment we are if you have a look on Ptolemy and Ptolemy 2 and we're at this forward base now there are a couple of things that i will point out at in this particular mission there are two options towards the end one is to uh, visits the lieutenant to purchase new gear now he's just a s supply person you can visit him anytime you like and he doesn't really have the best equipment but if you are an early player and don't have some good gear then it is worth visiting him he's got some good ammo 
and a couple of good guns uh, like this one I, I happen to get you may get something different so it is worth checking them out now I, I, I checked them out for the case of the video but it normally I would probably just say skip so if you've got decent weapons already it's probably just stuff that you're going to pick up anywhere anyway so don't worry too much about that so i will show you the quest here you can see that the hostile intelligence towards the end here has got two options and one is to just uh, visit the lieutenant and purchase new gear that's not where you get the suit from so if you do skip that do not worry it's just got some ammo and uh, med stuff there it's a, a supplier that has stuff all the time so you can visit him at any time we also have uh, this, this is the one that we we're going for, Londinian, and um, we are there now. So this is when you, you get off your ship, you're going to be going into this facility. Now this facility is packed full of uh, lots of stuff to, uh, like uh, weapons and ammo and things like that. So be, be sure to go and check out everything you can see, and none of this stuff is stolen. If you do pick it up, you can see none of it is. That one's empty for me this time, but you can see... There's some pretty good weapons in here if you are lacking some punch because you're going to need a pretty good gun to finish this mission. Now, you've got the option to go straight in and talk to, which I'll do. Your, most people will follow this through, but make sure you do visit the facility and have a look around. This room's got some stuff in here too. You can open these doors and have a look, but I found that most of these had nothing really good in them, just mining. So yeah, it might be different for you. I don't. And also there's plenty of, you know, we got another weapons case, there's more ammo, uh, there's another weapons case here. This one, um, what did it have in it? A Smuggler's Advanced Negotiator, so it's pretty high damage there and there's also some ammo for it, so 40 mil is pretty rare though, so bear that in mind. There's a couple of hamlets behind us, some more guns and stuff on the wall and etc. So don't forget to go and pick all that stuff up for this final mission. The Terramorphs in this one are pretty strong. Uh, I'm on the hardest to play all difficulty and it was a little bit of a challenge. It wasn't too hard but it, we, I've got, I'm level 90 and got some pretty good weapons and armor. So they are talking to the commander so let's skip through all the dialogue and see what she has to say. All right so just a little bit of dialogue there we just need to get through. You guys can uh, pick different things if you want. I'm just skipping through it. Thank you commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Percival will be scanning. All right. Head over to the armory. All right, so we've got two options here. Go and collect gear, and, or you can move out. So a lot of people may just skip the go and get gear, but it, it is kind of, it can do it. It's pretty easy to do. I almost walked past it my first go. But you, I mean, it does highlight these little blue dots here. So it is worth going in and checking in this particular case. But that's the door that we'd be heading through. So we want to come back around this way and go in this door. And this room is full of supplies. So really worth having a look in here. Not much in there, but we've got heaps of like ammo over here. And we've got like tons of med packs in here. You can see you're going to need those. And lots of weapons, some packs. And here we go. Here's the suit and the helmet and pack. So this is where you're going to collect all this stuff from. And there's also a weapons case here. So an advanced minigun. Uh, more guns on the wall. And this one's a locked one for me. It just has a handgun in there. So I wasn't going to waste my time on that one. And yeah, basically loot this room for everything it's worth. And then you'll head on to the main mission, which is through this way. And you'll be coming up against some of the, the biggest Terra Moss you could probably imagine. It is a pretty good mission, this one, and well worth it. I do advise, though, that you, you hit the hard save uh, a few times or quick save. It is quite difficult if you're a lower player and playing on a hard level and you will get some really good experience from it. So, guys, I hope this was helpful. It was a really short one. Um, so you're going to get this, like I said, this really good spacesuit. And um, hit that like button if it was helpful in any way. Just consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again. One bad out.